So essentially what happened was, like you said, Colleen uh, conducted this investigation, this sleuthing where she set up a sting operation to essentially what she claims is catch Rebecca Vardy in a trap of leaking stories about her to the son. So she placed three fake stories on her private Instagram account, which only has a couple of hundred people on there. It's completely locked down. These stories subsequently ended up in the sun. And after, time after time, it was only Rebecca Vardy's Instagram account who was able to view these stories, which is how Colleen says that she found out that all of this information was coming from Rebecca. Rebecca denied this when she was outed by uh, Colleen in a really dramatic Instagram post where she alleged that it was um, it was Rebecca Vardy's Instagram account that had seen all of this information. It was no one else that could have leaked these stories. And following on from that, Rebecca Vardy decided that she wanted to prove her innocence and sue Colleen, which is when the trial began. This all actually started many years ago, three years ago now. And then the trial took place, the nine-day trial took place in May. And what's happening today is at midday, uh, Mrs. Justice will be, uh, will decide and will announce you know what the outcome is whether colleen is right in doing what she did she did and actually no it was rebecca vardy's account that leaked information or that rebecca vardy's proven her innocence and that colleen is in the wrong so it's all culminated in this and what's really sad about all of this is there's been huge coverage of this case you know the battle of the wags Wagatha Christie, and actually the announcement, the decision is simply going to be posted online. There isn't going to be this, you know, day in court where the verdict is announced. It's literally going to be put online some point around midday, and we'll find out uh, who is the winner of this this wag trial. In the show, we're going to be talking about court cases being the, the the decision of court cases actually being streamed. So I guess we could all we're all absolutely desperate for that in this case, aren't we? But Ellie, what Honestly, some... I would totally be there with my popcorn. Watching Definitely, this one I think we so all would. Ongoing. Ellie, what are the sums of so money? Ongoing. What are the sums of money or repercussions actually at stake here? Yeah, so we're looking at. Three million pounds, more or less, has been spent on lawyers. This is just the legal fees to do with this because both WAGs went for absolute top dog lawyers who represent massive celebrities in huge trials. And they decided they wanted this to fight out this Instagram story outing. So that's where the money's gone. And what's actually the silliest thing about all of this is that the maximum that if Rebecca Vardy is proven innocent and, you know, it said, Colleen owes an apology and is going to be sued because of this, that the maximum she'll actually get is around £70,000 and the, the lower end £15,000 because that's where it's been capped. So no matter what's happened here, the ultimate winner are definitely the legal teams with these fees. But I think ultimately what Rebecca Vardy is hoping for is the apology that Colleen could be made to give her in court should you know this go her way and uh, Rebecca Vardy be vindicated and all of this. And then if not, that's literally it. Colleen's won the end. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. And I don't think it's actually going to end here. As much as some people who aren't into the showbiz world were like, oh, thank God it made day it's all over actually we know that yeah. colleen signed a deal with netflix to do a documentary around this My and God. rebecca vardy has reportedly signed up to do a lot of interviews on the back of this paid for interviews on television and newspapers and things like that so okay. this isn't going away anytime soon